Battleship. It's a ship. It's a board game. It's a movie for some reason. It's also a PC game, which thanks to NMS Software and Hasbro Interactive, the ad exists. This is the 1996 PC version of the Ultimate Naval Warfare game, which I discovered thanks to the local library keeping a copy on hand back in the 90s. As soon as I saw this box and those screenshots, I knew I had to check it out. I mean, Battleship was already a fun time to me back then, and Electronic Battleship was even better. But computerized Battleship with high-resolution graphics, clearly this was the peak of the franchise, which was verified to 11-year-old me when I saw that it came on not just one CD-ROM, but two. Although it wasn't because the game was that huge, it was because the second CD could be used by someone on another computer to play multiplayer. You also got a registration card for Hasbro, a supplemental instruction sheet that covers the iffiness of Windows 95 gaming, and a jewel case manual, featuring way more information than the manual for the board game ever did, reasons for which will become apparent quite soon. The ship of battles begins with a battalion of logos and ship like that, followed by a full motion video intro sequence with a more believable plot than the movie ever had. Look, there's things to destroy. There are battleships to destroy said things. There you go. After this, you get a main menu, which lets you play single or multiplayer, as well as change around a few options like adjusting video quality, difficulty, and radar presentation. Hmm, so authentic. Let's boot up a solo game mode, which starts you off with a... Practice mode. Classic practice mode is the same exact gameplay as the board game, but here you'll note that there are a whole lot more things to do here. Clash at sea, air superiority, capture the island, global thermonuclear war, shall we play a... What, what is all this mess? Well, you see, this was during the time when simple board game translations were no longer enough for computer gaming. They had to pack these full of all sorts of extra modes that no one asked for, and maybe weren't even that good, all in the name of convincing people to buy yet another computerized board game. Battleship in particular had all sorts of virtual adaptations before 96 on all sorts of computers and consoles the world over, dating all the way back to the late 70s. And those are just the somewhat official ones. Beyond that, you had dozens, maybe even hundreds of knockoffs that let you play the classic Battleship game on your computer of choice. By the time this one had come around, Hasbro Interactive had started up a whole new wave of traditional board and card game releases for computers, and Battleship was no exception. But let's take a look at the classic gameplay mode, which is far and away the mode that I played the most as a kid and still do. You start by placing your battleships on your ocean grid in the same way you do in the board game while your opponent does the same. You don't have to worry about calling out grid coordinates as you play, and instead just point and click on the spot you want to fire upon. What's neat here is that for every move, you're treated to an audiovisual spectacle of your offensive tactics and resulting destruction. What's even neater is that you can select which vessel you want to do the firing, which gives you a tiny little bit of what feels like control, even though it kind of isn't. It just gives you a unique animation, depending on what's going on. So there's a lot more to take in each time you play than it first seems. Or there would be if 60% of the video wasn't covered up by all these ugly interface elements. Still, this was supremely sweet to me as a young lad. I was that kind of kid, always saving up money to buy the next great fighter jet model, or creating armies of paper airplane and Lego creations. Being able to play a game that I was already so familiar with, and then see all this killer destruction on my screen alongside it was just entirely too awesome. It didn't matter that the AI was predictable, the full motion video was super compressed, and gameplay was boring after a game or two. Battleship for the PC was one of those games that fueled my imagination for the rest of the day and had me running off to design my own airplanes and ships with a pencil and paper. But remember that large manual and those extraneous game modes to choose from? Yeah, well, it turns out there was a ton more to this version of Battleship. Back then, I didn't even bother with these extra modes because they confused the crap out of me. And now, well, I wouldn't even bother with these modes because they confused the crap out of me. All right, maybe confuse is the wrong word here. It's not that they're unlearnable, it's just that the implementation isn't very effective. So you've got a whole bunch of missions that aren't based on any kind of story or anything. They're mostly just there to fill up space. It's a bunch of skirmishes and things that you have to do, like what you would see in a flight simulator game or 
a wargaming game, scenarios to play through, objectives to complete. It's not really put together with any kind of narrative and it doesn't really need it. That's not my complaint. What I have an issue here with is just that it doesn't work very well at all. Like, for one thing, there's just a lot of confusion with the interface itself. Not only is it still in the way, but you have to do things like zooming in and out of the map, which just doesn't work very fluidly, and controlling different fleets, which, again, just doesn't work very well. You have to kind of decipher what is attacking you where, what to do about it at any given time, and the tools that it gives you just aren't sufficient for making this very fun. Going from an overarching map to the traditional grid scheme for battles is bizarre, and because it all takes place in real time, it's no longer turn-based here, so things are just kind of all over the place, with animations going in the background constantly, and you don't necessarily know if you need to address them. It's just bombarding you with information. Half of it's useless, the other half is just hard to control. But yeah, it's still Battleship, and it still gets my imagination going in a way that makes me feel like a kid again. I like the classic practice mode of this Battleship version, and I do like those full motion video background things going on. It's just neat to see the submarine do a thing when I tell the submarine to do a thing. Obviously, it's not much now, and those extra game modes don't hold up very well at all. In fact, they just weren't very fun back then either. I don't know if I'd recommend it, but I will say that this is a thing that exists, and now I've talked about it, and I feel better, and I hope that perhaps it brought back a memory or two for you as well. And if you enjoyed this video, then maybe you'd like to see some of my others. I've got one here on Doom, and one here on playing Fallout 4 and other things on a black and white TV through HDMI conversions and stuff. It's pretty neat, I think, so watch those if you would care to, or subscribe to see more in the future every Monday and Friday here on LGR. And as always, thank you for watching- Ah, oh, you sank my battleship, you jerk!